Hi, I'm Maya. Welcome to my kitchen. I grew up in Vancouver, Canada, where we had some great Thai restaurants. One of my favorite dishes growing up was Pad Thai. So we had to find a way to recreate Pad Thai and I had to find a way to make it gluten-free for my little boy who can't have any wheat in his diet. It's very simple to make and I'm gonna show you how. It's more like assembling things than actual cooking. The first thing we have to do is boil some water and pour it over these lovely rice noodles. And while we're assembling the other parts of the Pad Thai, those noodles are gonna soak but they're so thin that they don't actually need much time in there. The next thing we're gonna do, we've got some nice wild prawns here. They're de-veined and peeled, lucky for me. And I'm gonna just basically heat up a little bit of sesame oil and I'm gonna saute some nice finely chopped shallots. You can use white onions or shallots and I'm gonna saute these with a little bit of finely chopped garlic we're actually gonna add a little bit of serrano chili. I know you think that my children won't eat this if I put chili in it, but if I put just a little bit in, they don't even feel the heat, it just adds to the flavor. It's a really nice addition. So I'm gonna give the shallots and the garlic a minute head start while I start getting the serrano chili ready. I've taken one of these guys and basically cut the flesh off and removed the seeds, because the seeds are a killer. They make it really hot. And then I'm gonna take a garlic press so that no poor family member ends up with a big chunk of serrano chili. And I'm gonna just squeeze my serrano chili through this press and scrape off the little bits. There's hardly anything in there. Nobody is gonna complain. I have to say sometimes authentic Thai cuisine is even a bit too spicy for me. So this is my own slightly modified version. Okay, so we're gonna just let those move around in the hot sesame oil. And once we see them going a little bit glassy, I'm gonna add the prawns. Okay. And these prawns are really quick to cook. What you're looking for, they start out kind of translucent looking, and you're looking for them to become pink and opaque. And while they're cooking on the one side, I'm just gonna lightly salt a little bit, not too much because the sauce we're gonna be adding later is gonna be salty as well. And I'm gonna put a touch of pepper just to bring out the flavor. So I'm gonna let these prawns cook for a minute on this side. I have my pan at a nice high temperature so that they'll cook quite quickly and they'll sear nicely and keep the moisture inside. And while those are cooking, I'm going to mix up my Pad Thai sauce. It's a simple sauce. It's got some fresh lime juice, some sugar to balance the, the sourness of the lime juice, and fish sauce. This is kind of odd smelling when you smell it on its own, but in this Pad Thai, it's an amazing taste. Okay, so I'm gonna just mix that up so that my sugar dissolves. And I'm also gonna sprinkle a tiny bit of paprika onto my prawns once I flip them over to add a bit of color, that nice orange color. This is a very quick dish. You can make this in 15 minutes and it's flavorful, it's nice and tasty. It happens to be gluten-free, by the way. If you buy a fish sauce that's gluten-free, the whole dish is gluten-free because the noodles are rice-based and you want each of the prawns to get a chance to be right against the hot surface of that pan so that they'll cook nicely. In the meantime, I might give my noodles a little stir, make sure they're not clumping up. Okay, so this is the moment where I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of paprika for color over our prawns. I don't think paprika is a traditional Thai spice either, but I could never figure out how they got the Pad Thai to be pink, so this was my solution. Okay, we're gonna toss those prawns, and you can see now they're all nice and opaque. The tails have gone pink, and they're kind of bouncy when you push down on them with a, a wooden spoon. 
So that's how we know that our prawns are thoroughly cooked. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna remove my prawns from the heat so that I can start preparing my other components of the pad thai. Okay, and the next thing we have to do is scramble a little bit of egg. So, I've got two eggs here, and I'm just basically gonna use a fork to kind of break the, the yolks and scramble these very roughly. They don't have to be whipped until they're fluffy or anything like that. I'm gonna add a little bit more of my sesame oil to the pan, and I'm gonna scramble my eggs. It doesn't matter if it gets some shallots and little bits of garlic in there, it'll just add to the flavor of your dish. Okay, eggs are lightly scrambled. I'm gonna remove my pan from the heat and turn that down. And then I'm gonna go and strain my noodles over the sink. I'm gonna use some hot mittens because the bowl might be hot. Okay, so my noodles are drained and my egg has been scrambled. I'm gonna put it back on the heat. And now comes the part where we put all the pieces together. Okay, so I'm gonna put my prawns in with the scrambled egg, and then I'm gonna pour my noodles on top. And now the magic, the sauce. And we're gonna basically drizzle this over our prawns and our noodles and the noodles are gonna kind of continue cooking in the flavor of this sauce. I think this is the secret to a good pad thai. The sauce is actually gonna absorb into the noodles a little bit so that they get a nice flavor. While all of that sauce nicely soaks into the noodles, we're going to get our our garnish is ready. I have some freshly chopped cilantro. Mmm, that's such a good smell. Some chopped peanuts, lime wedges, and some mung bean sprouts. And our pad thai is almost done. My sauce is nicely soaked into all the noodles. All that flavor is locked into those noodles. I'm just going to take it off and garnish it now. This is the fun part. This is where cooking and art meet. I'm gonna just make sure that some of the prawns are visible on top. And you can actually serve this in the pan that you cooked it in. Nobody will mind, it's so authentic. I'm gonna start with my mung bean sprouts and just sprinkle those around on top. Then my cilantro. You can be generous with the cilantro. It adds a nice freshness to the, to the kind of soft, comforting noodles. I'm gonna take my lime wedges and just sink them in randomly. Okay, and then finally, my peanuts. And there you have it, my version of a pad thai. I'm Maya, thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again soon.